Microsoft PowerPoint's Rule of 7x7. Seven seven. You'll notice at the bottom of each slide that there's a takeaway area. This is just a short blurb so that you can uh, take something away from each slide. So first of all, let's talk about the essence of 7x7. Seven seven. What is it exactly? These, this is a best practice rule to follow that says on each PowerPoint slide, you should only have seven lines per slide maximum and seven words per line. Very simple. And sub-bullets are the same. Just go ahead and think about a can of 7-Up if you need to remember this. And actually, that looks pretty good because right now I'm really thirsty. So it's easy to remember 7-by-7. Uh, seven seven. Why do we have this? What's the purpose? It's easier to understand for the user when you have a limited number of words up on the screen. To reduce excess verbiage is another purpose uh, of why we use uh, the 7x7, seven seven. so you don't have a lot of extraneous words that are just going to confuse the user. And we do want to grab the interest of the user within the first few seconds that we put a slide in front of the viewer. Remember, it's all about the viewer. Whatever we can do uh, to make the viewer or the user or the learner, whatever uh, setting you're using PowerPoint slides in, you want to look at things from their perspective. And that's what we're doing here when we look at the benefits of the rule of 7x7. Seven seven. It gives the user takeaways, so something that they can grab, uh, something uh, that they can uh, look at, and they can also hear, so they're listening to the speaker and just seeing a few words up on the screen because that is the best practice. That's the best way that viewers can learn from each slide. And it's also good for note taking so that viewers can jot down just a few notes and so that they can uh, take a look at their notes later on after they view the slide or after they've attended the live presentation. So there are major benefits of using this 7x7. Seven seven. And here are some don'ts. Don't put full sentences up on the screen on a slide. Uh, viewers don't get a whole lot out of that, and it just confuses them when we're speaking above them, on top of them, as we're reading what they're, uh, as we're reading to them what they're trying to read to themselves. Avoid unnecessary minutia. You don't need words like a uh, and the. You just need quick bullets. So don't do a death by PowerPoint. Don't have paragraphs up on your screen. Here's an example of 7x7 seven seven if I was going to talk about Jing. So first we talk about what's cool about Jing. Uh, if I was going to extol the virtues of this great um, software pro, uh, product, I would put a nice graphic up there. And I would talk about how easy it is to use Jing. And also the tutorials uh, that the vendor puts online for us to take a look at if we don't know how to take a screen capture, for instance. We would view that video in front of you. And Jing is free. So I will talk about the fact that there's a lot of software out there that costs a whole lot of money, but Jing isn't one of them, fortunately, which is really cool. I mean, we all like free stuff, right? Of course. We want to front load, which means if we spend the time to put together quality videos using Jing, then our students can take a look at them over and over and over uh, so that we really enjoy the residual effect of this great learning tool. And that's a huge ROI. And did I mention that it's free? I would throw that out there again because that's a really cool thing about Jing. Jing is the bomb. Other PowerPoint tips here real quickly because I see I'm near the four minute mark. Don't overuse graphics and animation. Don't throw things up there that don't add any value uh, to, the, to the presentation. Keep it simple. Don't go any lower than 24 size minimum and uh, for your text. And if you're narrating, don't read the slide. Uh, don't have, uh, don't just read what's up there on the slide. Give the viewers more information than that because they already know that because they're reading it. Make sure you proofread for legibility. Uh, don't have misspellings, don't have typos, or typographical errors. Uh, you really want to go ahead and review, review, review. Questions or comments? Go ahead and email me, give me feedback on this presentation, and I hope you've gotten something out of it, and we'll see you guys on the message boards.